Hello, I'm Shen and you're watching XDA TV. A message to people like Pitidjaw? Shen, you're so dull. Nobody likes you. Well, you do know no one's forcing you to watch this. You could instead continue fapping to your collection of horse porn. After a large amount of feedback and requests, I have decided to do a video on how to compile Android from source code. This may sound really hard and complicated, but in fact, it's extremely easy. You just have to run a few commands to set it up, and the compiling is automated. This guide, I will be showing you how to compile it for the Galaxy Nexus from the AOSP tree. So let's jump straight in. You'll need a Linux distro. It can even be set up on a virtual machine. If at any time I'm going too fast, pause it and rewind. I'll post a link to the written instructions on Free Your Android below, so you can copy all the commands directly off there. First, I will show you how to set up 64-bit Ubuntu. I'd recommend using 10.04 because it's the best version of compiling and I'll be using VirtualBox because it's a free virtual machine software. My friend Nathan set up these screenshots for me so they say 10.10 .10, but it'll be 10.04 if you're following this guide. To start off go to virtualbox.org and download the correct installer for your machine. Next go to ubuntu.com and download the disk image ISO for 64-bit Ubuntu 10.04. On a side note you can just burn this image to a disk and install it directly onto your hard drive. After VirtualBox is installed reboot your PC and run it. Click on new Next, name your virtual machine, select Linux, Ubuntu, and click Next. Now allocate the amount of memory you want to give to the virtual machine. You'll need at least 2GB if you want to compile Android in a reasonable amount of time. Click Next again, create a new hard disk. Now the virtual hard disk creator will pop up. You'll need it to be dynamically expanding and you want at least 35 gigs of storage as the source and output takes quite a lot of space. Now finish and click on Settings. Go to Storage, IDE Controller, choose a virtual CD disk file which should be the .iso that you just downloaded. If you have two or more cores on your PC, you'll want to go to System and allocate at least two cores for the virtual machine. Now go to network, select bridge adapter, and then select your actual network adapter. Finally, go to display and give the VM 128 megabyte of video memory. Then click OK to close the window. Time to start the machine. You'll want to click on the machine and click start. Install the Ubuntu will be pretty straightforward. You'll want to erase and use the entire disk. Once Ubuntu has finished installing, it will reboot and ask you to log in. Now, we'll set up the building environment for Android. You'll need to open up a terminal and you'll want to be working in root. So open up the terminal, type in sudo i and enter your password. You should now have a hash sign instead of the dollar sign. Now we need to add the correct repository so apt-get knows where to get the Java JDK. So type in this command. Now update the repository by typing apt-get update. Now that setup will be installing the required packages for compiling Android. Wait for each one to finish before continuing to the next one. You'll want to apt-get install sun java jdk, python and git core. Now we're going to pull in all the required packages needed for the build process. Some of these only work on 64-bit, that's why I'm recommending you to use 64-bit. You're going to want to copy and paste the link from the written guide. For all of you who didn't want 10.04 and used 11.10, you'll need to type this line. If you're not on 11.10, ignore it. So that's the environment setup. Time to set up the Android repository and sync. Type these four commands to install the repo binary. Now set up the folder for where you're going to store the Android source code. Now we will want to initialize the repository. This command will initialize it from the master branch. You'll be asked to enter your name and email address. I'd highly advise you to use your real name and a Gmail address. I had a few syncing problems when I was using my Google Apps address. Now that the repository is set up, you'll want to sync it by typing repo sync. The syncing time will depend on your connection. A standard DSL connection will take an hour to two hours, but a 10 megabit connection should do it in 25 minutes. Once the repo is synced, you'll want to grab the proprietary binaries for the device from here. Extract the .sh files to your ICS source folder. To open up ICS source, you'll want to type in Nautilus onto the terminal, and that will pop up the file explorer for the folder. Now run the two .sh files, accept the terms and agreements, and they will automatically be extracted to slash vendor. Now you're all set up. Right now, it's the 4.0.3 source on the AOSP. It comes with native support for Nexus S, Galaxy Nexus, and the Zoom. Set up the build environment by typing in source build slash env setup. Sh. After that's done, type in lunch. And since we're building for the GSM Galaxy Nexus, I'll be choosing option 8. Full Maguro user debug. One more command left, and after this, it will be compiling. The build time depends on your CPU, RAM, and disk type. My dual core 4GB RAM in a virtual machine takes about 5 hours. Whereas Coach from Signage Mod has a beast which has 12 cores, 3.4 GHz Xeon processors, 48 gigs of RAM, and he's compiling from solid state drives. He takes about 50 15 minutes. So the command is make-j4, or if you want to make a flashable zip, make 
slash j4 OTA package, the first command will only create .img files for each partition. The j number is typically double the number of cores you have. So that's it. You'll have compiled your first Android ROM. Once the compile finishes, it will tell you where the output file is. Since the guide is building a root, you will have to type chown your username and the file name to have the permissions to modify or move it. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of XDA TV. Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a happy new year. See you next time. Asian out.